So 100 years of the Kilty Marching Band. Um, a milestone in anybody's eyes, for sure. Uh, how a group can sustain for that long, I, there are a few things. One, uh, obviously institutional support. You know, the fact that the college has constantly supported the arts, and it's been a big part of, of what we're about. Uh, support from the alumni, um, not just financial support, but also just the emotional support, like coming back to the games, talking with the current students of the band, reminding them of when they were in the, the band and they would tell a story. And the students always find that interesting and I always have a chuckle because maybe sometimes I remember that very story only from the other side of the fence. So, um, and you learn things when you hear those stories. Oh, you're the guy that did that. Okay. You know, so all fun stuff like that. But I think it's the fact that we take the arts seriously at Alma College and we've taken the band seriously at Alma College. Um, we've had some great directors here over those decades that have gone on to do wonderful things at huge, you know, R1 schools. And all of those folks were part of keeping it going and trying to drive it to the next level. and. And they're the ones that handed me what I was given so that I could move forward and just try to keep it going and then hand it off to someone else. So my favorite memories of the marching band for over the last 25 years and this being 26, uh, working with the students, just the excitement level they bring to the group, the dedication they bring to the group, how all the new members grab on really quickly to what we're about. Um, and dig in, uh, just reconnecting with alumni over the years as they come back for concerts or they come back and play the fight song at pregame. And those are some of my, my best memories and the staff that I've been able to work with and picking out the music and picking out the shows and how can we do things that people wouldn't expect and the crowd. I mean, our football crowds are tremendous and they've always been super supportive of the group. Uh, you know, so for the alumni out there that are, you know, want to be engaged, want to be helpful, um, things that you can do, bring a high school student, bring a junior high kid to a game, somebody that you know, a family friend, an acquaintance, a relative, bring them to a game, bring them to a concert, let them see what they have the opportunity to be involved in, um, bring them over. I'll let them talk to the kids in the band, you know, if they're a flute player or a trumpet player or a percussionist or whatever, I'll put them right into that section and the students will talk to them about what it's like to be in the band and what they do as their, their major and the things that they want to do in college. Because I think sometimes younger kids feel that like, oh, if you're in band in college, you have to major in music. And that's definitely not the case. And it, you know, it's good for them to hear that, hey, I can be pre-med and play in band, or I can be political science and play in band, or I can be a business major and sing in the choir or play in the band. So all those things, just getting those kids here, super important. Um, spread the word about Alma. You know, spread the word about the education that you got and how it's helped propel you forward and the opportunities you've had because of your education. Um, and then obviously there's, you know, there's the financial piece, you know, if you're, at a space where you can do something financially for the arts, for the band, um, that's fantastic. And it doesn't have to be a lot, you know, whatever you can do, because a whole lot of early on in my career, small dollar amount donations add up in the long term. And all of those things will help propel us through the next century.